Yo, we got a super chat here from Tommy. You think Steve Downs will still voice act Chief? I would say yes. I don't see that changing anytime soon. Like his voice still sounds good. Like Master Chief and Infinite still sound really good. And that was all like done at home. So I could definitely see Steve Downs still voice and Master Chief. Like how old is Steve Downs? I think he's probably like 60 something now, right? He, oh, he's way older than I thought he was. He's 74 years old. So he's definitely creeping up there. I mean, yeah, he's still doing a great job as Master Chief. The voice still sounds good. I would say maybe there is going to be a point where Chief, it, the Steve Downs will have to go right at some point he's gonna stop doing halo and Halo's going to continue so what's gonna happen then do we just rely on ai because you never know like in 10 years ai could be good enough to just use his voice yeah like diablo said like ai generated it could definitely be that five ten years from now like ai voice acting could be good enough to work though i do feel like for like a main character you would need to really do human voice acting on that but like say for Stuff like Marines or Grunts or Elites or something like that, or even Brutes, like in-game chatter kind of stuff. That could probably just be done with AI, honestly, and you would be fine. But even then, like all that voice acting was like, what, like five lines all done by the developers themselves, like Joseph Stain being the voice actor for the Grunts and just like probably just spent a day just saying a bunch of weird stuff and it just works, you know? It's not that, it's not really that uh, time intensive to have genuine voice actor lines for that kind of stuff. It also kind of depends on like how you utilize Master Chief, right? If we're talking like Halo 4 Master Chief where he's just talking constantly, right? Being a real like lead character or if he's going to be much more like Combat Evolved where he'll just have like 10 lines of dialogue. He'd be like, I'm ready. Could probably even get away with AI, honestly. It kind of depends how they do it. You know, the strong silent type, exactly. And that's kind of what Chief's always meant to be. He's the Terminator. Terminator 2, Terminator, like that's what he is. Like let Cortana do all the talking. She's the one with the info. Chief's just like, where do I shoot? I want to see what some of like the voice acting, like some AI generated voice acting Chief for Chief, right? Cause there's a lot of the stuff out there already. Like, oh God, there's a, okay. I'm already seeing some of the thumbnails in here and I'm just like, oh, this is gonna be wild. Uh, Master Chief tells Del Rio what we're all thinking meme. Give me that chip. Sir, respectfully. Go fuck yourself up the ass. I am the master motherfucking chief, bitch. If you want my sassy blue robot waifu, try and take her from me yourself and see what happens. You receding hairline, no bitches get it. Divorced dentist looking ass. Yeah, I don't think we need uh, Steve Downs anymore. Like, that's some spot on voice acting right there. But actually, like, when you think about it, though, like, it actually kind of sounded like Master Chief, though. Like, not, it didn't sound super AI like. And with, like, how dry Master Chief's delivery usually is, AI Chief? I don't like it. But I think it very much could be a thing. Like, <laughs> Let's check out this one here too. I was just using the base's terminal to run some routine checks on our other outposts. While I was waiting, I decided to go on the internet and watch some funny cat videos. I'm just telling you this because I saw you using the terminal before me and, well, I saw some real bizarre stuff in the search history. So you can hear like how like robotic and dry and unnatural the voice is. Like even for Master Chief, who's like not Mr. He's not Mr. Charismatic, but like that sounded really boring and dry and definitely didn't sound like a human actually talking right but there is like ways where you can actually put your voice in and then overlay that with master chief's voice like we've there's this um one account called there i ruined it yeah like what they do is they take a lot of uh music and they'll use and now they, this ai has become so popular and used so much that they actually will like, sing with their voice and then put in whatever section they actually wanted it to be before and after ai voice reveal yeah like here's an example of it Oh, I like big butts and I cannot lie. Oh, I like big butts and I cannot lie. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. So you can see, you can hear how he like sings it, how like Johnny Cash or Elvis would sing it, but then overlays the AI on top of his voice. And it kind of works. Like here's one it's with like uh, chili peppers. Tickle my bum with the mannequin thumb on a bongo drum in California. Tickle my bum with the mannequin thumb on a bongo drum in California. As like it's stupid, but it like works. So you can see like five, ten years down the line, an AI mastery voice actor could probably work. You know, all you need to make sure you just have the proper inflections and 
you would sound like Master Chief. And the AI is just improving, like exponentially improving like each year, massive leaps are being made. I would hate to say yes, but I could definitely see that happening where even after Steve Downs retires, that you could have a Master Chief, you have enough data on Master Chief's, uh, or see, actually, you have enough data on Steve Downs's voice, vocal patterns, inflections, and using technology to kind of overlay on you know, the AI voice on top of yours, you probably could get away with Master Chief being AI. I don't like it, but for how much Microsoft is investing into AI, you could definitely see that happening. Like what's the recent news that like Microsoft like reactivated like a dormant nuclear power plant for AI. Powering AI is gonna take a lot of energy to utilize. Like it's gonna be such a stress on the infrastructure of the United States to power all as much AI as these execs want, you know? So like right here, for example, saying Three Mile Island nuclear plant will reopen to power Microsoft's data center. Like Microsoft's like, we need an entire nuclear power plant to service our data center. That's how much, that's how much energy they need to scale up the AI that they want. And so yeah, the, the deal is create approximately 3,400 3, jobs. It will bring more than 3 billion in state and federal taxes, according to the company. Oh, so they'll agree to like add $16 billion to Pennsylvania GDP. That's a lot of money being made and a lot of power being used. <laughs> That's where we are right now. Like Microsoft is definitely going all in on the AI side of things. And I think a voice acting, AI voice acting match chief could definitely be real.